Good morning, friends. It is early. It is too early for Miss Pearl. Henry set an alarm today for 6.30, which we are early people in general, but not really 6.30 people, I'd say 7.30. Um, but he's going for a run. We're camping with our friend, Andrew Knapp. Every time we camp with him, they go for morning runs. We're leaving South BLM Joshua Tree today to head to San Diego and get ready for a little mini Mexico trip, which is specifically for animal rescue. I know a lot of van people have just come back from spending like four Four months in Mexico but we are going for like six days for animal rescue only and so we're like gearing up for that we're gonna stop in the city I'm probably gonna leave my van as you can see I'm in my new van which I still have to film a tour of and show you all of that but I'm going to leave this van in San Diego because we just don't need both vans for like five days anyway I am tired and I would like to get coffee just straight to the dome. So I'm gonna make some coffee. Do you wanna go outside? Wow, good job, girl. Okay, go. Five years I went without an espresso machine. Ever again. I have not paid for one coffee since I bought that espresso machine. So if you're wondering if it's worth it, a hundred percent, absolutely, because I'm like a coffee buying queen. It's not okay. I will spend way too much money on coffee. And now I've not bought a single one in I, se for several weeks. It's been probably three weeks. Okay, it's a post run interview. How'd you feel? Feel great. Three miles, got some sun. Yeah? Got some sweats in, about to take a shower, all before eight o'clock. A marathon man? Yeah. We love to see it. Did any dogs go with you? No. Just the boys? Did you run Where's your partner? We didn't see you. Ruh-roh. <laughs> this is Andrew Knapp. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Sorry to wake you up with the camera in your face, but it's the I, Marathon Club. I didn't see you running out there. So. Oh, you missed. I went before you guys. Okay. Yeah. Right, right. I, woke, I, I woke up at 6. You guys did 6.30. It's a little late wow, for me. didn't even bring a sweat. <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, Ella, Ella. Okay, Ella. This one is for Henry, who likes a hot coffee these days. Should learn some coffee art. But, oh, I didn't do any art. Um, not there yet. But to be honest, that looks delicious. It does look delicious. Thank Tell you. me how it is. Let's get a let's get a review. It's excellent. Is it? Yeah. It's hot. Is it piping hot? It's perfectly hot. Oh, we love perfectly hot. Yeah. Yeah, come here. Good boy. That's a good boy. Come on. Let's go. Okay, before I hit the road and head to San Diego, I wanted to take a minute for today's sponsor. You heard that right. Today is our first sponsorship ever on my channel. So thank you so much to Gooder Sunglasses. I have had Gooder Sunglasses for a very long time. They are sold online and in REI. And you guys already know that that's like one of my top places. I bought one pair of really nice sunglasses. They were very expensive a couple years ago. And within a week of having them, I sat on them. And they've just been sitting in my van ever since because I probably should take them in to get fixed. But I just don't really want to, especially being on the road. It's like not that convenient. So Gooder glasses are only like 25 to $35. Most of them are like 25 bucks. This pair in particular, my favorite one is $35, um, but it's so worth it. And in case I do sit on these ones, I'm not out like a bunch of money. The company itself is 100% carbon neutral, which is something I just really appreciate. I like giving my money to brands and companies who care about the planet and Gooder definitely does. So you can go to gooder.com slash Sydney for 
for free shipping on your order and I will put the link down below in the description box as well. Thank you so much to Gooder for sponsoring today's video and making this possible but also being my first sponsor ever on my YouTube channel. Okay, it is hot. I am in the driver's seat though, which means we are ready to go. I have to go through this like new checklist every time I'm getting ready to drive. Also, sorry if you can hear my AC. It's not really an option, you know? Um, I need it. So does Ella. Um, but I have to go through this new checklist because it's a new van. And so I have to like make sure my skylight is closed and make sure that all my windows are closed because I didn't even used to have windows. Um, I actually have to make sure this pocket door is secured because there's glass mirror on the other side so you don't want it like swinging around yeah i just have to make sure all of the things are done not that that's a complaint obviously but i just am so nervous about driving away and like something up this is where pearl likes to stay while driving <laughs> yeah pearl right that's right she'll just sleep on my lap the entire time Meanwhile, Ella's having like a full-blown panic attack, typically, if I'm driving. She's not a big fan of the car, right, Ella? It's already starting, but that's okay. But can we talk about this screen? I have never had a screen in my car before. It, it feels like a Tesla. It's like an iPad screen. It's enormous, uh, and I can use it for like CarPlay, obviously maps and everything. It just, it makes my life infinitely easier. For a dog who was raised in the car, you would have no idea. It's the next day. Um, I drove for so long yesterday, and by the time I got to San Diego, because I stopped a couple times, got some Starbucks. I have not paid for one coffee since I bought that espresso machine. So if you're wondering if it's worth it, 100% absolutely. Did some things. Um, it was like nighttime and I was ready to turn in, you know? I was ready to pull down the projector. Um, all about that luxury life these days. I think I fell asleep before Henry even like came into my van and we were parked side by side. So anyways, I was tired and I did not vlog the rest of the day, but I have just a jam packed day of um, errands and I plan on forcing you to come with me. But right now I'm getting my favorite breakfast in San Diego. I've posted about it on Instagram 1 million times. It is an acai bowl and a particular coffee from this little like coffee tent that I love. I've officially received the order. Uh, this is the coffee bellicino, I'll just side, um, a coffee bellicino with almond milk is what it's called. They have a lot of things that don't have the word Bella in it. Hello, future Sydney here, editing this video that you're watching. I'm saying this because the place is called Cafe Bella. Um, but I get the Bella Chino and a Bella Bowl. Sometimes they don't do this anymore and it used to be so upsetting, but I would order this because they have like smaller acai bowls and I used to order this one and they would be like the 32 ounce Bella Bowl. I was like, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I am currently parked at the laundromat though. I mean, look at this. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to round up my laundry and get started. I'll show you how much shit I have to wash here in just a second. This is some of the laundry that I now need to get into this already very, very full laundry bag. So this <laughs> is everything that we're working with. Okay, was that not so exciting? Um, but I need someone to explain to me why I found books in my laundry bag. Like, when did I do this? Why did I do that? This is Enjoying Where I'm At, uh, which is a journal that I actually remember getting and I filled out like three pages of, classic. Who doesn't do that with a journal? Um, and then forgot about it. This is a one year Bible <laughs> that is from probably a decade ago. Couldn't tell you, don't understand. Look at this. Look at this. Obviously I did not wash that. No one living in a van needs this much clothes. However, this is like 100% of my clothes almost. Like all of these upper cabinets will be full of clothes, but they're all empty right now. Excuse me. I'm gonna get to this later. 
I haven't showered in many, many days, which is like unusual for me. Typically I am a more frequent showerer than my fellow van friends, uh, but it's been since I got back from my trip, my, my Costa Rica trip. So I need one, I'm overdue. Um, and I'll be going to Planet Fitness. Whatever dry shampoo I have though, well, actually let me show it to you. It's working and I don't really feel like many dry shampoos work so well. This is Detox Dry Shampoo from Dry Bar. I think it's Coco Colada. Um, it smells pretty good. I do spray it outside of the van though because I'm just gonna put that in there like that. Otherwise it's just like very stuffy and strong in here. I don't like spraying anything in the van. It's been working so well and I just am not usually a dry shampoo fan because the ones from like Target for some reason never work for me. Like they turn my hair white and then the white is impossible to get out and my hair is still greasy like the next day. But that one is like really doing it for me. I mean, it's greasy right now, but it's, I only put the dry shampoo in one time in the last week, so. I don't know. Uh, usually my hair would be much worse than this. I do feel like I should change my clothes before I leave though. And now I have actual things to choose from instead of the exact same one tank top and one t-shirt that I've had for several days. Right row. <laughs> this is Nick, my builder. Woohoo! One of them. He owns the company that built my van. Okay, the outside is going to be really loud because I'm parked on a busy street, but this is the old van. I am at SoCal Custom Vans, the people who built my new one, and someone who works at that shop, Keon, uh, has been working on this van to get it in like tip top shape for someone to buy. Uh, so I was just visiting it because I haven't seen it in like a week or two since he started working on it. Um, I'm gonna give you like a little tour of it, but by the time this video goes up, this should be listed and for sale. So if you wanna buy it, then you're welcome to because I do need to get it off my hands. I currently have two vans and I don't want two vans. This is what it looks like when you first see the outside. There is a fold down table here. I'm sure you guys have probably seen pictures on Instagram potentially. This is a vent for the fridge, just a little mat here. Brand new floors and then this is obviously the kitchen. We have a little vanity mirror. We did just replace lights, so these are brand new lights because uh, I just didn't really love the ones I had before. And then this is kind of a bigger deal, but there's no more pocket door. So there used to be a pocket door here and I'm going to just have a curtain here now. The pocket door was like getting jammed and stuck pretty often and I just don't want you guys have to deal with that or whoever buys it. Now there's just gonna be a curtain there in replace of that. So moving on to this, I put in some reinforcements because I had mason jars here and I always packed it full. And so my stuff never really fell, but I'm nervous that whoever has this, if you guys, if you put, if somebody puts like something smaller here, then that might fall. So I just wanted to make sure that no matter what, you know, whoever lives in here puts in there, it's not going to fall over. So have some reinforcements, which I did not used to have. All the lights up here are brand new. This is a new Max Air fan. And then this is kind of all of the upper cabinetry. If you remember, there was like all my memories and everything right here. So it's so sad to see this looking so plain now, but I'm excited to see whoever gets it. There are new memories in the van, brand new fridge, just like junk drawer here. Obviously I need to take this stuff out and take care of the bottom of that. Um, but an enormous bed. The bed is brand new. I just spilled water. And then also this right here is a table and there's a lagoon mount over there. So you can like sit at your work desk. And so this, this section here, like these are benches on the sides and then a table right here. Um, and so you can sit like at the little bench seats and work at your table with a lagoon mount. These are still painted blue, my little book carriers. This is a slide out table, still comes out pretty far. This is an outdoor shower. There's no hot water, but at least there is a option to showering or just rinsing off. And then this is what the van looks like from this angle. The last thing I have to do is take it to a body shop. There are a few dings on the outside that I just wanna take care of and make sure everything looks solid. I am going to jump back into my new van where the dogs are waiting for me and finish running errands. But I have now done laundry, got groceries. I have visited this van. I took some pictures. I'm going to make the listing today, hopefully list it tomorrow. It will definitely be up by the time you're seeing this. The last thing I have to do today is uh, the gym. 
So I'm gonna go to Planet Fitness, work out, shower, and then probably meet up with Henry. This is just really a video uh, of a compilation of me talking in the van, which is not what I was going for, but here we are. I'm gonna get better at this, swear, but I'm committed to trying and like sticking to it. Like I'm excited. My last note will be that my old van, old van will be listed down below. Maybe will be already sold depending on how quickly that happens. I'm not anticipating it to happen that quickly, but maybe it will. I will list it down below uh, if you wanna check that out. But for now, I'm going to put on a video from YouTube most likely and get to folding, get to cooking and just enjoy my new home. So I will see you guys in the next video. We have one, we have two and Henry and Finn will be here soon. Good night, people. <laughs> Thanks for watching.